determining the critical value of z for a distribution for a two-tailed test with alpha being set at 0 0.05. So you're going to need your unit normal table, right, or your z table if you want to call it that. That's what I always kind of refer to it as, but the technical term is unit normal table. Um, you need to find, um, so we're going to do alpha 0 0.05. Right, but we're going to run a two-tail test, meaning we don't really know if the medicine will make the blood pressure go up or the blood pressure go down. Right, we know it's going to have an effect on the blood pressure, but we don't really know if it's going to go up or down. So we're going to have a two-tail test. Right. So again, we have our average right here. We're hoping that we're going to have a, um, a score, a z-score. Um, in, in one of the tails, right? So it's either going to be way over here or the z-score is going to be way over here. And what we need to find is we need to find the z-score, this crit, this critical value of z, right? So we're going to have, um, because it is a two-tailed test, right, z is going to equal plus or minus something, okay? So again, with alpha being 0 0.05, right, alpha set at 0 0.05, um, but because it's a two-tailed test, we have to split the alpha in two, right? Um, because we have two critical regions. And again, our critical regions are right here. I'm just going to abbreviate it with CR. Okay. So if we split the critical region in two, alpha becomes now, right, because 0 0.05 divided by 2, 0 0.025. Okay. And we're looking in the tail, right, because the body of the distribution is this big area right here. And we're looking to see what the critical value of z needs to be to either be on this side, so below the mean, or on this side, above the mean. Okay, So let's use our unit normal table and see if we um, can find our cutoff scores. Right. So we go down here, and again, we're looking in the tail. Right. So we would go down here, proportion in the tail. So we would keep going down, 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 down until we say, oh, we're at 0 0.025, right there. Okay. And 0 0.05 correlates with a z score of 1.96. Okay. So we're going to have a z score of negative 1.96, right? Because it might lower the blood pressure a lot, or it might increase the blood pressure a lot. This would be a positive 1.96. So our um, critical value of Z, or our Z crit, is plus or minus 1.96. Okay? And you can do this with a whole bunch of different other kind of alpha levels, right? So you can do it with alpha. Um, oh, that was really messy. Sorry about that. You can have alpha right, equaling 0 0.01, right? And if it's a two-tailed test, all you would do would then be alpha equals 0 0.01 divided by 2, right? Or um, 0 0.005, right? If your alpha was, um, I don't know, point, uh, let's see here. Let's make alpha point. Um, zero, zero, 001. So you're like super sure this research is going to work, right? But if it's a two tail test, you have to divide that alpha in two. So now your alpha would be 0 0.0005. And again, we're always looking at the tail because 0 0.0005 is much bigger than 99.9905 or whatever it is, right? And so again, we're not necessarily looking for the body, right? We're not, we don't really um, care about this area right here. What we're looking for is the cutoff scores for these.